What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Samsung Active Odyssey from Verizon Wireless. Smartphones can allow you to perform incredibly complicated tasks, but you frequently have to pay high prices for a little extra functionality. The Odyssey is a bit different, because it's a mid-range device that allows you to use Windows Phone OS and the latest Verizon LTE functions at a very affordable price. Will the Odyssey help spur Windows Phone adoption? Here's our review. The Ad of Odyssey that we reviewed was powered by a dual-core processor running at 1.5 GHz with 8 GB of internal storage that can be expanded up to 64 GB via microSD card. It came with Windows Phone 8 OS, and all content was displayed on a 4-inch Super AMOLED touchscreen display with a native resolution of 800 by 480. It also came with a 5-megapixel camera with LED flash that's capable of 720p video recording. If you're looking for a nice change from the large variety of Android flavors or iOS options out there, Windows Phone 8 is a colorful, fun to interact, and quick operating system. The OS on the phone acts just like it does on a laptop, and it's this consistency across all of its platforms that makes it incredibly easy to pick up and use. In fact, the more we played around with the phone, the more it seemed as though Microsoft made the right design decisions with their mobile OS. We also liked the Super AMOLED display, which was highly saturated and produced sharp text even when zoomed in. The screen looks good in direct sunlight as well, which is a nice bonus for the device. While it's only a 5 megapixel camera, that's more than adequate for most users of the phone. The camera's controls were laid out and easy to use thanks to a physical shutter button. Plus, it adds a large number of controls for shots, like white balancing and dynamic range control. Finally, we were struck by the battery life of the Odyssey, which was very good. Samsung claimed up to 19 hours of LTE and 7 days of standby with longer times on 3G networks, which is an incredible spec for any mobile device. We found that with mixed phone, browsing, and low CPU intensive gameplay, we could pull down 2 days of use before we needed to plug it in. There were some flaws with the Odyssey that kept it from being the perfect phone. For one thing, while it's not a hideous phone, it's not going to strike you as a beautiful device either. The rounded edges evoked thoughts of the defunct Palm Pre, and the lower soft keys were awkward, making OS navigation frustrating at times. We also didn't like the placement of the wake sleep button on the right side of the device, and the battery door just felt flimsy. Another issue with the phone were lackluster LTE speeds. We found that the fastest LTE speeds in our test peaked at around 10 megabits per second, while Verizon's LTE network can easily pull down two to three times that speed. While we're not above thinking that the network could have been undergoing maintenance, it was hard to think that the Odyssey just couldn't handle the faster speeds. Finally, while we thought that Windows Phone OS was a nice alternative to iOS and Android, it's lacking in app development and adoption in the market. Some of the basic functionality found in other smartphones, like countdown timers, stopwatches, voice commands, notification centers, and more, are sorely missing. The phone also crashed twice during our tests, requiring us to remove the battery to actually get it to work again. While we'd like Windows Phone OS to succeed, it's currently not as slick as its competition, meaning its growth is definitely going to be a steep uphill climb. The Samsung Ad of Odyssey is essentially a good phone with virtually every facet of the device landing squarely in the middle of the market. It might not have the fastest processor, the best screen, or an eye-catching design, but it does have a new OS that will get better as more features are added to it, Verizon's LTE network, and excellent battery life. We do think that the Ad of Odyssey will help spur Windows Phone adoption, and users that are interested in a budget-friendly phone may want to check it out. For these reasons, we decided to give the Samsung Ad of Odyssey from Verizon Wireless a 3.5 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on phones like the Samsung Ad of Odyssey, be sure to check out techbargains.com slash cellphone. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.